You've reached standing figures, 30 figures. Now playing the overview section. This bronze work by Polish artist Magdalena Abakanowicz was created over a four-year span from 1994 to 1998. The artist witnessed the violence of the Nazi invasion of her home country as a girl, leading some to believe that the 30 headless figures may be victims. You've reached North Lawn Shuttlecock. Now playing the overview section. A gift of the Sosland family, this is one of four 18-foot shuttlecocks that have graced the lawn of the Nelson Atkins since their installation in 1994. Each of the shuttlecocks weigh 5,500 pounds. Over the years, the four shuttlecocks have become a beloved symbol of the museum and the city. Be a centerpiece of their 1977 exhibition, Sacred Circles. 2000 Years of North American Indian Art. The work was completed by artists Kenny Mowat and Charles Height and depicts the symbol of Kansas City in the Claws of the Raven at the top. The three figures around the base of the work are meant to depict the mayor of Kansas City at the time along with the patron and art museum director who commissioned the work. You've reached two planes vertical horizontal. Now playing the overview section. This abstract stainless steel sculpture by artist George Rickey was completed in 1968. Rickey was known for his kinetic sculptures and this piece demonstrates his work as the two planes are balanced by counterweights and bearings. The work was a gift to the city by the Sosland family. You've reached two-piece reclining figure number nine. Now playing the overview section. The juxtaposition of two figural shapes creating the appearance of reclining is a regular feature of Henry Moore's sculptures, and this work offers a combination of two shapes that come together in this form. Once these two parts become separated, more explained, you don't expect it to be a naturalistic figure. Therefore, you can more justifiably make it like a landscape or a rock. If it is in two pieces, there's a bigger surprise, you have more unexpected views. You've reached upright motive number 9. Now playing the overview section. Sculptor Henry Spencer Moore designed this piece in 1979, blending inspiration from Native American totem poles of the American Northwest and sculpted figures. You've reached Thace Park. Now playing the overview section. The green space south of the Nelson Atkins Sculpture Garden was part of the vast estate of newspaper publisher William Rockhill Nelson at the turn of the century. Now a public park named in honor of Kansas City grain merchant Frank A. Thace. This vast green space was part of a planned civic improvement plan in the mid-20th century that would create an outdoor space that combined the art museums to the north with the University of Kansas City, now UMKC and other leading institutions that form the Plaza District and Midtown area. Thais was a leader of several civic groups and served as the president of Kansas City's Board of Park Commissioners from 1952 to 1965. The park included featured a fountain that honored one of the city's leading philanthropists, William Volker, until that fountain was moved just south of Brush Creek. <laughs> 